Kao Onsen in the middle of Kyushu, just a little bit north of Mount Aso, which is still exploding, by the way. Last night, we had a bath. Our accommodation has a share onsen, which we reserved for an hour or so, and then we just soaked, and it was awesome. Today, we're going to check out the volcano just before we go into town and soak in another onsen. Good morning. As you can see behind me, there is really hazy, so it's really hard to see Mount Aso, but it's shrouded in smoke. That's partly why it's so hazy. Um, there's still a huge plume of uh, smoke and ash going up from it, so um, it looks pretty amazing still. So it's still erupting, so um, I'm glad we're where we are here, miles away. Local rear cans and hotels make their bathing facilities open to the general public just for a small fee. The local TI recommended a rear can for a bath. It was Gekoju Aya Momiji. So now we're going to get Zen in the onsen. You can wander around, you can buy a ticket and wander around and use multiple uh, public onsen. But we wanted a nice private family one, so we came up to our hotel and had that on offer and booked a private outdoor onsen. And it's absolutely beautiful and it's really relaxing and we don't feel like doing much more today because we're just so relaxed. Super relaxed after our awesome bar. Now we're going to wander around Kurukau Onsen and check out the sights, maybe have a little bit of a feed. is a face steaming onsen. Haven't seen one of these before, so I'm just about to try it. shop that sells um, rice crackers and mochi. This is a beautiful mochi with a soy sauce that George is holding up and Brandy's got his granulated sugar mochi and I have a um, lava, lava which means um, uh, seaweed. 
seaweed, um, yeah, it wasn't mochi, was it? It's a, it's a, um, what do you call it? Rice cracker. Delicious. So what we're doing is just wandering around this picturesque little village and trying foods and snacks and ice creams and things on sticks and watching and all that sort of stuff and just people watching and it's very good. Now we're going to try minced horse meat cutlets. This ain't I want it. What do you want? That! I just so like... Oh, you want a, a bad American dog? You want a dog? Yes, yes, dog I want to eat a dog. I want to eat a dog. Oh, oh, hot dog. Oh, hot dog. And what do you have, Georgie? Nuggets. Chicken nuggets. Chicken nuggets. Oh, look at that. How's that, Brando? Yeah, idiot. So the kids are happy having their hot dogs and uh, chicken nuggets, and I'm going to try the minced horse meat. What is it called? The minced horse meat. Yeah, horse meat. The minced. We're eating ho horse dad. I'm eating. I'm eating far lab. This is minced horse meat cutlet uh, with a special barbecue soy sauce on it. So one in, all in. Mm. Where yesterday's champion is today's tasty snack. Mm -mm -mm. Now for something completely different. This is a horse meat croquette. Probably got potato in it. Mmm. Also very tasty. You can't go wrong with fried food. Cold drip iced coffee. Mm -mm. With sugar in it. Which is a bit yucky having sugar in my coffees, but when in Rome, it's not too bad though. Also bought some souvenir Jersey milk products, uh, Jersey milk beans, some fried dough donut thingies, and some little cake things, which I'll we'll show you right now. Continuing our little stroll through the sulfur smelling Kurokawa onsen because of all the onsen and hot water, not because there's a volcano imminently erupting not 30 kilometers from here. Uh, next stop on our little stroll is onsen eggs, where we go to a rear car and they've got eggs sitting in a pool of hot water outside, so we'll just grab some. Much disappointment on half the family. No more onsen eggs. We're not sure if it's for the day or till tomorrow, but one way or another we'll get some more. Maybe tomorrow morning. So just where we left from the right rear car that uh, didn't have any eggs left, there's a little hut just down the street a bit, and they've got a onsen egg thing here as well, so we've just scored a couple of eggs here. Unfortunately, they're a little bit harder boiled here than the average onsen egg, which is usually soft boiled, but oh well, it will fill a hole. An egg shaped hole in George's heart. We don't want to grow up.
is Patisserie Roku, one of the better patisseries in Gurukau Onsen. We're going to get some pastries and also some purin, which is a pudding, or it's a bit like a cream caramel. Uh, we're going to get a couple of those to take away and have later. <laughs> vending machine. Not that it's out in Australia or anything, you get used to that in Japan, but the prices, that's one thing I'll never get used to. Look at these big beers, 230 yen. That'd be like seven, eight, nine, ten dollars at home. Especially with these imported Japanese beers. Ooh. And sake down here as well. Sake. 170 yen. 260 yen. You get you get to cover real good drunk here. Or bad drunk. Don't drink. It's not good for you, it's not healthy. Having said that, I've got a couple of beers. Volcano update. Evening edition. Still blowing a stack. It's um, still a huge plume out over the mountain there. We were thinking of going over to have a look at it close up, but we, the day's gotten away from us with all this hard you know, eating and onsening, so um, we won't head over there and have a closer look, but yeah, it is still blowing its stack. Live? Well, not live. By the time you see this, it'll be months past, but yeah, that's Mount Asso having its 2019 April eruption. I don't know, all night, and there was even Super, and then play the game. There was even an earth, there was even an earthquake last night. Brandon felt the bed moving. I didn't, I was asleep, I was too tired. How much was your bed shaking last night? <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't help. Brandon, that's actually scary. And it's pluming a lot, so we're just out here taking a few photos. I mean, like, yeah, it looks like clouds, because it's really white. Uh, just, I think it's just because of the sun, but it's actually grey and stuff, yeah? It's a bullseye! outside of Kakurakawa Onsen and it's a beautiful comfortable little place but apparently here in April it is still Christmas. Merry Christmas everybody. Was it Easter? It's April. Happy Anzac Day. Merry Christmas. Specialties is busashi, which is sashimi of horse. 
Georgia really likes all sashimi. The last time she had it when she was two, um, she ate basically all of it. So this time we're going to try and share. So it's been a kind of horse meat day with the um, croquettes and the little little fried horse meat mints earlier. So we had the Versace here and it was very very good and of course it went really quickly because someone over there <laughs> ate it all. But we've had rice, uh, there's a chicken and rice thing, plus a fried fish. And now we're just waiting for the pork katsu. So yeah, it's been a variety here. It's been very good. Plus this is oh, ordinary old fish sashimi as well. So it's been good. Naka restaurant here in Kurokawa Onsen. The pork katsu just arrived. That's one mighty fine big piece of pork cutlet. I think there's like half a pig there. I'm really glad we're sharing. Walking down a random road in the, in the wilds. Our home. One, a person just gave us this. You did. I That's like right. This. We're heading off to Nagasaki right now. We've just left the forest village at Kukuakau Onsen, and we've just stopped at the side of the road, um, basically down the driveway. So we've gone, in effect, about 150 meters from where we stayed last night to stop and let Georgia make faces at the camera. So um, yeah, we're heading to Nagasaki. It's probably about a three hour drive, three and a half hour drive. And um, we'll be very sad to leave this place because it was absolutely beautiful. There were bunk beds. There were bunk beds and we had an earthquake and we saw a volcano erupting. So um, we're glad to leave here with our lives. Yay! Yeah. Brandy. Brandy. This is Forest Village where we stayed for the last couple of days. It was amazing. Okay. Those bunk beds, we saw. Uh, there was an earthquake, we saw a volcano erupting. Um, we were not yeah. at bunk beds today. Toys today. We're actually happy we're leaving this place, but I'm really sad. Georgia, leave it. Georgia, did you just say no? No. Don't know what that was. This is our last morning volcano update. The mountain is still erupting, but we're out of here. We're heading to Nagasaki. <laughs> but anyway, we're leaving and that's the mountain erupting in the background. Bye bye Mount Esso. Bye bye. I won't miss you. <laughs> yes, we will. I will miss you. Before we hit the road to Nagasaki, we will drop into Kurokawa Onsen one more time just to see if there are any onsen eggs. This is the Raiken we came to yesterday to get the uh, onsen eggs. And disappointingly, they're hard boiled. Although George and Brandy like them really hard boiled, but we like the proper soft. I had an egg. Yeah, yeah. Yum, yum, yum. <laughs> I already had my egg. It was so yummy. I ate it straight away. See, they both they both love their hard boiled eggs. We prefer the softer 65 degree eggs, but they, yeah, the water's probably a little bit warm here. Kurokawa Onsen is actually known for its hotter than normal or hotter than average water, but um. Lucky it's not stinky can because the sulfur smell in the water today is quite, quite volcanic. Right, what I 
Finally getting to have our Oroku puddings as we're leaving Hurikau Onsen. This is our little milk, well it's basically cream caramel, you pour in the syrup and it is delicious, it really is. Oh, it would be worthwhile coming back to Kurokawa on some just to get one of these puddings, I think. We're about an hour into our trip to Nagasaki and we're going to stop for lunch at Yamato Roadside Stop. This is roadside stop Yamada on the way to and Nagasaki. Like this. So we've stopped to have some food. Georgia and eating sandwiches, sandwiches, and I got a sausage. Sausage, sausage on a stick. Croissants and sandwiches. That's what I have. No. Okay. <laughs> and I've got fried chicken, and Mummy's got omelette. Uh, so lots of things. Now we've just got to go to the vending machines over there to get an iced coffee or something like that to make this the perfect lunchtime slot. Yay!